As you guys see, I'm actually going to swing over to Jazzy's Cabaret. They're located on Orange Street, New Haven, Connecticut. Now, this is one of those places that I've been thinking about checking out for a while. And I got a little time today, so I'm going to swing up there in a little bit and find out what's going on with them. The reason I say that is that I'm actually on a website called opentable.com. And Open Table is honestly showing, as you see, a 4.2, 66 reviews. But here's the thing. When you look at the website, it literally has people giving great reviews, right? Then you got people giving really bad reviews. This one lady gave a review this long. And she was really ripping into the service, the, uh, the, the food, and, you know, the whole situation they dealt with. Then you got other people going through the same thing. Then you got people with tons of great reviews. Now, I know from personal experience that sometimes you'll actually get really, really good reviews, a bunch of stellar reviews from different places, but they're not true reviews. So what that means is sometimes these reviews that you see on these websites like Yelp and, like I said, Open Table aren't always true. They're not always accurate. And sometimes people are actually accusing other people of actually giving false or fake reviews, meaning that these people may either work for the business that you review or may know somebody that works there, could even be an owner or management. So we want to actually find out if this is a real, real review, a real list of reviews. I'm going to find out. This is what I do. Mostly healthy food reviews. Let's head up to Jazzy, shall we? to say happy Friday. Happy Friday to everybody involved, everybody watching me, everybody that rocks with me. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of the heart. Now, with that being said, I want to let y'all know real quick that I'm going to go ahead and uh, step up in to a spot that I've never been to before. It's called Jazzy's Cabaret. It's located on Orange Street, New Haven, Connecticut, as usual. I'm going to drop the address in the bottom of the video. Now, with that being said, I actually saw they had a few different menu items that I wanted to try. And like I said in the beginning of the video, sometimes you'll find places that get these reviews online on certain websites. And all the website does basically is either bash the establishment or they big them up. And sometimes the reviews could be wrong. What that means is you might find somebody who's not telling the absolute truth about a review that's been given for a particular food or a restaurant or service or pricing or what have you. That's where I come in. I basically give you all the meat and potatoes. I keep it a buck 50, a straight buck 50 with you about everything that I do as far as food. We're gonna get up in here real quick, find out what they got for me today. I'm thinking about this dish called the Wu-Tang. Love Wu-Tang. I am a Wu-Tang fan. We're talking about the rap group, the hip hop pioneers, man. Just you name it. Everybody from the Wu. I've always loved the Wu. I'm not wearing my Wu t-shirt today, but you, you see where I'm going with this. Before I get started, though, I wanted to um, just really quickly do something that I've never really done on camera before with you guys, and I have no problem doing. Let me be clear on this one. A couple days ago, I did a video for a place called Riverview Bistro. They're located in Stratford, Connecticut. The bottom line is, when I did the video, matter of fact, if you haven't seen the video, it looks like this. I'm hungry as usual, what else is new? And I decided for my Friday that I wanna go ahead and I wanna do something I haven't done in a very long time, whether it be on camera or not. That's actually to go get some seafood salad. No! I'm actually gonna go with a five out of 10 on this salad. While I was leaving and I started to film my review, 
there was a gentleman that I guess the restaurant sent out to kind of see what I was doing. I was actually parked, if you could picture this, about 50 to 60 yards away from the restaurant. I was in this long behind parking lot all the way in the back so that I wouldn't bother anybody. But actually, here's the guy that was sent out to sit there and watch what I was doing. What I did do is I jumped the gun um, against the owner, believe it or not, who actually is named John. John, I wanted to apologize to you publicly. Right thing to do when I consider myself a stand-up individual. Now what that means is in the video, I basically said some things that were inflammatory. They were basically just not true. And I thought that maybe he was actually walking outside to see what I was doing to, to kind of, you know, gauge me, maybe breaking into somebody's car. And honestly, my, my retort for this is that it was totally unnecessary it was uncalled for and like john and i we actually had a conversation and he said to me that he takes stuff like that very seriously and i do too i think that people that are harassed because of a certain demographic nationality or race is a bad thing however it does happen often it still happens to this day and to be honest with you, it has happened to me throughout most of my life, especially growing up in Stratford, Connecticut. If you guys know Stratford, you know what I'm talking about. I did speak to John in at length. He's a very nice guy, and my review will stand as far as the food I had. However, I do want to basically apologize to John and his establishment and his crew at Riverview B Show. John. Again, thank you for being a stand-up individual. Hopefully you do accept my apology. I'm enough and I'm a man enough to basically apologize to somebody when I'm wrong. I'm heading up to New Haven, Connecticut right now, as you guys may have seen in the beginning of the video or not. I'm gonna actually swing by Jazzy's Cabaret. It's a black owned restaurant. <laughs>
right, y'all, there you have it. This is Jazzy's Cabaret. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do what I usually do, which is keep it a buck with y'all. Ready? Those reviews that I saw on the website that I showed you guys in the very beginning were not accurate. And they weren't accurate in a lot of ways. And one of the biggest ways they were not accurate was service. From start to finish, as soon as I walked in, I got greeted by the young man at the front door. I got greeted by one of the servers who actually stood there and started having a conversation with me because it was a little slow because they just opened. I got greeted by the manager, right? And then when I asked the server who the manager was, because I didn't know, she got the same young lady that came back and said, yes, I'm the manager. How can I help you, sir? Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Everything honestly was great about my experience. I had no issues. The vibes, as soon as you walked in, you saw all the pictures on the wall and the real Afrocentric upbeat. Decor was nice. Music was hitting, it was slapping. The music was slapping. I was sitting there rocking. If I didn't have to go home and get this video done and I feel like I'm totally underdressed because I'm doing a t-shirt and some sweats right now, I would definitely go. Matter of fact, I want to go home, jump in the shower, get right, and then come back up here tonight. Who knows? I might be around for it. My only regrets is I didn't go to the bar and get a drink. This channel and this video right now is not for young people. Nope, not at all. In either case, though, let's talk about the food. When I saw Jazzy Cabaret's website, the different options I saw ranged in price for a dinner from $21, in some cases, to $28. They had names like Outkast and Wu-Tang and Wyclef. As you can see, and there's a theme here, they love music there, and I love music. Music is life. That's what that is. So I decided to go with the Wu-Tang, and the Wu-Tang's supposed to be an Asian orange garlic chicken, grilled. It's supposed to have uh, scallion-infused rice. It's supposed to have garlic, broccoli, and then it's supposed to have some cucumbers. Interesting, right? I thought I was gonna mess with that one, but as you see, I got a bowl that look like one of the bowls you would get from a Cadoba or something. You see how small this bowl is? And this was $21, three pieces of chicken. Now mind you, the chicken was good. The chicken was, the, it was fat. It was a thick piece of chicken and there were three of them. But to be honest with you, what was my $21 for? The rice wasn't really good in my opinion. It was slightly dry. I'll be honest, the broccoli was one of the ones that was hitting because of the garlic. Honestly, when I'm home, I actually throw garlic in my broccoli too. So I definitely appreciate that. I can honestly say today, I've never been to a restaurant that actually did broccoli with garlic as heavy as Jazzy's Cabaret just did it. Liked it a lot. I definitely appreciated the chicken. The rice, eh, could have kept it. Then I get a bottle of my favorite, Poland Spring Water. I did ask them for some water and they gave me a bottle, but it's lukewarm. It tastes like I'm drinking warm tap water right now. I just spent $21 and change plus tax for this. The chicken and the broccoli. Those two things alone, they probably $7. $7, honestly. How do you guys charge three times as much? I'm almost afraid to try to do takeout again for anything else they have there. Although the other menu items they have look phenomenal on that menu. So I'm thinking about coming back, but it would probably have to be a sit down. I can't sit there and take this to go because as you see, I get the tidy, the tightest. Definitely not cost effective for anybody involved, including me in my pockets. In either case, I'm here for the review, not for the ambiance. So let me go ahead and give it a score. Jazzy Cabaret's Wu-Tang dinner. Chicken, rice, broccoli, no cucumbers. I'm going with a straight seven on this one. Seven is a decent number. It's respectable because the broccoli was smacking and the chicken was good and it made me dance a little bit. You know, I'll be doing my thing. But honestly, I can't see spending $21, almost $22 roughly 
for a meal that basically I can get at a Popeye's, three pieces and a biscuit with some rice for 10 bucks. Jazzy's Cabaret, I need you guys to think about that. If you guys are gonna actually charge the price and you're gonna walk the walk, I need you to talk the talk and then walk the walk. You see where I'm going with this. If y'all like the videos, do me a favor, click subscribe. Turn notifications on, that way you get the videos when I drop them. Mondays, Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. During the week as time permits, usually Wednesdays or Thursdays. And once again, this is Claude at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Newsbreak. I'm on all social media platforms. If there's a health bonus to my food, it's an added bonus. I can say the broccoli and the rice were healthy. I could say the chicken was good, but it wasn't healthy. It's mostly healthy. In the case, Jazzy's Cabaret. I might come back soon. I'm, I, we'll see. We'll see. Y'all be cool on the other side of the pillow. Let me take off. I'll talk to y'all next time.